Hi there, welcome to my vlog today. Hope you are well. Today we are in Windsor. It's a historic town in New South Wales, Australia. And to be more specific, it is situated in the western suburbs of Sydney. It has a very interesting... Today I am going to introduce you to this town and some interesting places of Windsor. And you can probably see in the background the Hooksbury River. Now, Hooksbury River actually plays a very important role in the life of the people who live here. But before I go into any details, let me start with a poem called Old Government House Windsor by someone called Gerard Eddington D.R.C. Irvine. Um, D.R.C. Irvine was a bishop. He was an Anglican bishop. He was born in 1862 and he passed away in 1932. And of course, I'm not going to read the full poem, only a few lines. A hundred years and more have run their course since settlers saw the river Hooksbury and came to till the lands, its floods and ridge. And on the ridge near where a smaller stream flows on to meet the river's ampler flow, they built their town and Windsor it was called. In fond allusion to the castle town upon the Thames, and here the governor Macquarie built his simple country home. So this poem pretty much sums up everything about Windsor. Built in 1812, it's one of the five Macquarie towns. Now these five towns are called Macquarie towns after then governor of uh, New South Wales, um, Lachlan Macquarie. Obviously at that time Australia was not one unified country as it is today and New South Wales uh, was one of the most vibrant colonies. Windsor is the largest of the five Macquarie towns and it has many historic buildings. Some of them are actually already heritage listed. In addition to this, it is home to many nice cafes and uh, pubs. So if you want to spend a nice day in Sydney, it's a very good place to be. So you can drive here or you can also do what my preferred method is, catch a train from the center of Sydney city and it takes you about an hour or a little more to be here. So let's start our journey. It's, uh, I'm obviously walking here. I'm, I'm trying to capture some of the most interesting uh, spots here. I've started my journey on foot from the beginning of George Street. And the first thing that we see is it's a, this establishment here. And I will um, close in on this, what's here. So it actually tells us briefly about uh, why this was erected. It was erected and dedicated by Hooksbury Pioneer Families by Centennial Association. As I have said, this uh, at the earlier section that this town was established in 1812. So uh, it's a little more than uh, 200 years old. And it was uh, unveiled on the 16th of April, the establishment that you see ahead of me in uh, 1988. And uh, the date was 16th of April by the Honourable Sir Lawrence Street, uh, who was then Lieutenant Governor and Chief Justice of New South Wales. So now you can have a look at the... So you can see there is one historic building, but there are... It's, uh, it houses some interesting food places now. So let's continue our journey. Uh, here you can see the Macquarie Arms Hotel. Now this has a rich history. It's actually the oldest pub in Australia. And they actually uh, mention it in their... Uh, you can see the sign here, you can read it. That the oldest pub in Australia, established in 1815s. And on the other side you can see the Hawkesbury River. And there is a nice walkway which we'll cover, we'll try to cover at the uh, ending part of this vlog today. Let's continue and... And to be more specific, this is the entry to the Macquarie Arms Hotel.
And as you can see, there is a nice car park here. That's again behind the uh, Macquarie Arms Hotel. If you travel here on a weekend, there is actually a very nice market. A uh, lot of small shops are here, but we are here on a weekday. So obviously we cannot see that uh, shops today. Uh, now this is one of the main attractions here. Um, especially kids, they love it. So this is a mill wheel. It's, uh, I'll focus the camera close to it, so if you want you can have a uh, read of this so this was built in 1834 yeah it's close to yeah it's 182 years old in in the old days like it gives you a nice feel of how life used to be in the colony of new south wales in those days On weekdays, the, there are, however, many shops that are open, and they very they are of different types. Some are cafes, and some they sell clothes, and some the other stuff like furniture or uh, for home decor. Now I'm in front of uh, one of the main attractions of uh, Windsor. It's known as Loader House. Uh, as you can see at the entry, they say uh, they are open on January at 10. And there is a bit of a history here which says, uh, this was built in 1834 for George Loader and was typical of the colonial period. So, However, these days uh, they use it as a, uh, this has been used as a shop in the past or a guest hotel. Now they use it for workshops, art, crafts and vintage, uh, craft materials as you can see here. Uh, we cannot go inside today because it's uh, this period like starting from pre-Christmas, from the Christmas Eve until the second week of January, it's usually uh, most businesses close. Uh, it's treated as a holiday period. So, we continue our walk along the mall, and there are uh, two other historic buildings here. One is here on the left side. This house is a restaurant and on the right there is another historic building. It looks like house is a bank. And if we continue our work, This is a community piano, so if anybody has any musical skill, they are welcome to play it. Uh, in my case, like I don't have any musical skill, so I will <laughs> pass it for the moment. But if you are here on a, uh, on a weekday or a weekend, and if you are good at piano, feel free to use it.
this is the to his Fitzroy Hotel, another heritage building, and you can see. Uh, it's not a real man sitting there, but it sort of gives you a feeling of how uh, people used to dress up in the old days. Uh, now things have obviously changed, but it's a good way to preserve your heritage. Oh yeah, hello. Are you okay if I... If it, okay. Where are you from? No, I just, I have a small YouTube channel. I'm a local. I live in Box Hill. Oh, so I thought I would make a uh, small YouTube about Windsor. I couldn't find much. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. You are part of the Fitzroy yeah, Hotel, right? Kevin, Kevin Walters towing too. Well, uh, yeah, here I meet some lovely yeah, locals. <laughs> of okay. Kevin Walters towing. Make yeah. sure if you break down, you bring old Kevin up. Okay, what sure. What a good beer. Get down the Fitzroy Hotel. Of course, of course. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, guys. It was nice meeting you. Thank you, thank you. So, as you can see, I was uh, lucky enough to meet some lovely locals, but that's how in general people in this area are, like they're very lovely and they have a good sense of humor, as you can already sense. And if you talk to them, they'll be more than happy to talk to you. And uh, let's continue our book. As you can see, it's pr these are probably for an art shop, and they have put some paintings outside. And yeah, they, let's go. This one looks like part of a carriage. So. so at the distance you can see another part of the Windsor town. And on my left, it's the old Windsor post office. So uh, I will see if I can get you a proper view of this. I'm actually back to where I started my journey, uh, that is uh, near the uh, Macquarie Arms Hotel, uh, which is the oldest pub in Australia. So I'll show you another part, like where uh, we can actually walk to the banks of the River Hooksbury. And on the way, we will also see a museum. I will not go inside, right inside the museum though, because that will take another full uh, vlog but I will show you the location and it looks very beautiful actually the entrance like the old classy uh, styles of buildings so let's carry out our journey so I'm actually walking you can see it's a yeah so let's go You can see the sign here, it says museum open. So that's a nice small museum. So we are actually, this is the entry to the museum. I have visited the museum in the past, but obviously, as I've said, it's a beautiful museum. If you have time, visit it one day. But for today, for the purpose of our vlog, we are not entering there. We will walk towards the Hooksbury. I'm on the banks of the river Hooksbury. And as I have said, uh, this river plays a critical role in the life of the people here. Especially in the olden days, it was very essential for farmers. And it had a very large farming community in this area. Uh, these days, in addition to farming, it's actually also a good place of entertainment because locals, they love to gather along the banks and uh, especially those ones 
who have little kids you can swim or you can just play with your kids along so let me show you I'm actually not far from the wharf and I'll just be walking and I will uh, try to show you. I'll see if I can g get you a good view of what's um, around. As you can see the bridge on Hawkesbury River, they have actually, uh, there used to be a historic bridge but they have uh, done, it's a new bridge I think, they have done a lot of work. so. This is another area, it's like a lookout, so you can, it's uh, Thompson Square, so you can uh, stand here and have a look of the river. It's actually very sunny today, so it's, uh, it's a bit hard for me to, uh, you can see, you can uh, read a description of uh, the prominent locals and who, and a brief history of uh, the Hawkesbury region. And this is one of the things I love about Australia, is wherever you go and if there is a historical site, there is a lot of resources available to actually uh, educate you. To if you want to know, it's very easy to get information. So I'm actually closer to the river, and you can see. I'm standing on this high platform, and you can see the river. And at the distance, there is a bridge there and right in the middle of the river you can see at a distance it looks like a uh, pedal wheeler or some sort of uh, boat I, I don't know exactly what it is called so this is the last part of my uh, vlog for today as you can see, I'm walking on the walkway along the uh, river. It's a very nice area and if you, you, you can come here anytime, especially on the weekends, you can come in the morning or in the afternoon or any time that suits you. You can come here, spend time. You can uh, walk or you can do exercise or uh, the Hooksbury River is so gorgeous. You can just look at the river like that's what I do. I come here sometimes and sit on uh, one of the benches. I come with a book and I read and whenever I uh, feel I don't want to read anymore I just look at the river and then I keep switching between my book and the, the river. Just at a distance you can see there is another platform where you can stand and uh, you can have a view of the Hooksbury river. We will walk there and we will stop our vlog for today there. You can see it's a very nice setup they have got here. You can walk under this. And there are nice benches here. You can come with your uh, refreshment, lunch, uh, or any homemade food, and you can sit here and eat. Or you can bring your laptop and work if you want to. Let's go on to the platform. So across the river you can see there is a tent, people are playing, kids are playing, uh, it looks like some families are there. And that other side, that's a very interesting site and I will try to cover it in another vlog. So, it's a very beautiful so this place. This is where I'm going to uh, finish my vlog for today and with me is my little daughter Reina who has been very patient today. It was actually very hot today but despite this hot weather she was extremely patient and I could not have done it without her support. Rena, do you want to say anything? Yes, please. 
I hope you liked it and please subscribe to my dad's channel. Thank you, Reina. So one thing I did not say at the beginning, it's actually my first vlog. So uh, of course there is a lot of areas of improvement. So please let me know how you liked it or whether you feel that is uh, where I should improve. And please subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day.